Hey everybody, this is Patrick at Geocron, and today we're going to talk about upgrades to the ham radio workstation, Parks on the Air. Ham radio operators like puzzles, but puzzles on a global scale. One way they do this is by separating the world into grids and seeing how many grids they can log a connection to in a certain amount of time. It only makes sense that the myriad of state and local parks that exist would be part of the puzzle that they need to complete. Hence, Parks on the Air. Somewhere right now, there is an activator that set up a mobile ham station in one of the 63 national parks, 433 national park areas, and 6,792 state parks in the United States, and is waiting for incoming transmissions. This is KB9VBR, Parks on the Air. Here is it. Whiskey Alpha 3, Tango Victor Hotel. Whiskey Alpha 3, Tango Victor Hotel, 58 into Kilo 1447. Back to you. Roger, Roger, Michael. Thank you for picking me up. I got you 5-7 here in the PA. Seven, three. If you look at the POTA layer on the Geocron, that operator may be on 20 meters, 30 meters, 12 meters, and not just in America, but often in Europe and Japan as well. This layer is updated about every 30 minutes. You can find the layer in the ham radio workstation under Parks on the Air. Within the gear icon, feel free to adjust the opacity mix with your other live layers and turn on and off the descriptions as you like. In a global map, it's particularly messy if it's a weekend and that's why the icons are colored by band. Also, you can search for the parks or spotter call sign on the on-screen keyboard or with the app browser. Also with this update, we've greatly expanded the number of FT8, DX, and whisper propagations that are shown on the map. You know that in FT8, there are over 1.2 million QSOs per hour. And frankly, our servers could not swallow and sort that many for you. But now, they can. As a result, you'll see faster load times, more animation, and tools like call sign filtering. They'll work much better because our live data set has grown by a factor of 10. This is another great way to get connected to a community of over 700,000 ham radio operators in North America and get another park checked off your list.